Today I'm gonna make another reaction video. Uh, today's video which we're gonna watch is gonna be uh, No Limit National Records Attempt uh, by Italian freediver Andrea Zuccari. Last time on my reaction video we was watching uh, the world record attempt uh, in a variable weight and today is gonna be national record attempt in a No Limit discipline. So as I said on my previous video, Andrea Zuccari, I mentioned him on my previous video, he is an extremely good freediver from Italy. Uh, currently, I don't think that he is competing, however, he is organizing freediving competition. Also, he is a man who knows everything about freediving equalization. So, you definitely want to check him out. Video from Andrea Zuccari YouTube channel. If you want to uh, watch this video uh, without my comments, the link to his channel is going to be in the description. Also, in his channel, he has a bunch of useful videos uh, about equalization, so check it out. Uh, a lot of useful videos. Okay, um, Freediving World, this is the name of the school, Sharm El Sheikh, August 2017. This is when the, the, this record was made. Uh, I think this is still a valid record. Okay, well, we see Andrea Zuccari here. One second back. So this is Andrea Zuccari, this is a uh, counterbalance system, in case of emergency this system can bring him up. Uh, the system is on the platform, there is a bunch of safety divers, Andrea Zuccari wearing the goggles and nose clip and standing on this sled, which is going uh, down in a few seconds. Uh, this is lifting back, uh, which is going to be later inflated and bring the diver up to the surface. So this is a view from above, Andrea Zuccari, fluid goggles, nose clip. I think this fluid goggles are made by his, I mean, made by him, I mean, not directly by him, uh, but I think they are, they are producing it. Okay, he was using such technique as packing, as you can see, system released, system going down. Okay, pretty fast, as you can see here in the left corner, it is a 20 meters already, and if you see here, the time, it is less than 10 seconds, which means the speed is about 2.2, uh, 2.3 meters per second. Andrea Zuccari cheeks full with air, so I guess he using some kind of uh, mouse view. And by the way, for me, like I feel super uncomfortable to comment Andrea Zuccari equalization because he is a person who knows everything about equalization. So he is a god of equalization. I'm really afraid to say something wrong uh, about his equalization because guys, he is a guru of equalization. Okay, I think he has a, like a biggest mouse feel at this moment. Okay, 50 meters already. Okay, guys, by the way, what we see here, uh, this is a non-important equipment. This is a camera. Uh, this is a camera, I guess. This is a light. Uh, what we see here is a two tanks uh, filled with some kind of gas. I don't know, is it air or any other gas? So later when freediver is gonna reach his maximum depth, he's gonna open this tank, I don't know, one or two, and then this uh, gas is gonna inflate this lifting back and the lifting back I'm gonna bring the diver to the surface. Okay, let's continue our descent with Andrea Zuccari, free diver from Italy, incredibly good free diver. Okay, really close to 100 meters already. Bam, okay, 100 meters, 44 seconds dive, really fast. So guys, the speed to 2.2, 2.3 meters, still the same. I don't know, like maybe it's slightly varied, but more or less the same. And this is on average like two, three times faster what usually free divers have when they do non-assistant disciplines. But this is a really fast discipline. This is why your equalization should be as good as possible. Okay, the cheeks is already smaller, the mouse feel I get gets smaller, but at this depth and for such incredible freediver it is enough. Okay, deeper than 130. We already see the lights from the end of this line. 
150, 60, 170, close to the bottom plate, 5, reach. So 185 meters, dive time 1 minute 22 seconds. Um, more or less the same speed, 2.2, 2.3 meters. Okay, now let's have a look what he is going to do now. So what he is doing, he is opening both tanks. He opened first one tank and now he's opening the second tank. So the gas from these tanks is going inside this lifting bag. Let's again remove my face. So the gas going inside this lifting bag and the lifting bag going to bring the diver up to the surface. He's supposed to remove some kind of stopper. As you can see, the, this sled start going up. Also, it looks like pretty fast. So now we don't see the depths. I couldn't calculate how fast they're coming. Safety diver, I don't know, first one or it's already second one. Pretty fast ascent. What we see here, it is a gas from this, uh, from the lifting back, because I guess, uh, and Andrea is still doing something with the tanks. I don't know, maybe he regulating how much air going inside the lifting back. I don't know, but definitely he knows what to do. <laughs> Okay, this is a little bit mystery for me. I don't know why he decided to step away from the sled and just hold this, uh, hold the sled. I don't know, is this position more relaxed? Or, I don't know, he create extra resistance. Okay, you see the air from the lifting back starts coming faster. Uh, I guess the back is already full of air or gas. I don't know what kind of gas they use. And now this extra air, okay, I call it air, extra air coming out from the lifting back. He's still doing something. I don't know what, he, what he's doing. Okay, I think this is a safety diver. He passed one safety diver. Okay, guys, and now when he's going to reach about 40 meters, he disconnect himself. So he disconnect the lanyard, safety lanyards from this sled. And now he's just holding the line, holding the rope. Oop. So what is the reason behind this? It's really actually smart, obviously. He's a, he know what to do. So he start slowing down his ascent he starts slowing down his speed because this is going to help him to avoid decompression sickness. Because guys, remember decompression sickness is connected with how fast you're coming up from the dive. And now he's slowing down significantly because you see the, uh, this lifting back already on the surface and he is probably like still 25, maybe 30 meter deep. So he's going much slower now. It's kind of safety stop you can call probably almost on the surface. Floating to the surface, whoop, remove my face. <laughs> Where I should put my screen. Okay, guys, and this is really impressive. What he's doing now, if you ever watch free diving competition, typically free diver, when they come up on the surface, they're gonna grab the rope, uh, when they're removing the facial equipment, uh, when they do the surface protocol, because when you're holding the rope, even if you're hypoxic, you have more chances to stay above the surface. But I guess in his case, in Andrea Zuccari case, he's so confident in himself and he's so not hypoxic that he is not holding anything. And guys also remember, he doesn't have fins. He doesn't have monofin. So he just come up after uh, 185 meter dive and he's just like barefoot uh, remove all the facial equipment I'm okay. I'm okay he's definitely okay he looks super strong there is no sign of hypoxia incredible incredibly strong dive to 185 meters so he's gonna wait for the confirmation 
And then uh, I think the judge gonna show him okay. And there is a celebration. So really strong, successful dive by Italian freediver Andrea Zuccari. Crazy good dive. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this content. If you watch, uh, if you want to watch more content from Andrea Zuccari, check out his YouTube channel. He has a bunch of uh, videos. And um, see you next.